You're watching EAC News. Thank you for joining us. Chairman of the National Assembly's Foreign Affairs Committee, Mr. Suhyara, said that Prime Minister's speech at the 2022 Sunha Award Ceremony, which was held on February 12th, was inspiring to the whole world. On the morning of February 13th, ahead of the General Assembly of the World Summit of Peace, ISCP, and the General Assembly of One Million Hope, a high-level delegation from the Kingdom of Cambodia led by Mr. Suhyara, member of the National Assembly of the Kingdom of Cambodia, wished good tidings and sang songs on behalf of the delegation accompanying Prime Minister to the 2022 Global Peace Summit on the occasion of Prime Minister receiving the 2022 Sun Hat Peace Prize in Seoul, Republic of Korea. So Yara said that Prime Minister's speech at the 2022 Sun Hap Award Ceremony, which was held on February 12th, was inspiring not only to the Cambodian people, but also to the whole world. We are live broadcast from the Republic of Korea. On behalf of all the delegates, he would like to wish Prime Minister good health, strength, clarity, and long life to continue the mission to lead the Kingdom of Cambodia in peace under Prime Minister, to be stronger and more prosperous, and for the next generation to live in dignity, strength, for a long time to come. At this rare event, Prime Minister allowed the delegation and all the working group to take a photo with him in a close-knit atmosphere and with the utmost respect and love for Prime Minister as a pious father figure with all the co-working children. Speaking on the occasion of receiving the Sun Hat Peace Medal from Dr. Hat Jah Han Moon this morning, February 12, Prime Minister stated that, Peace is the beginning of everything. If there is no peace, do not talk about hope. Do not talk about development, democracy, and human rights. For the Prime Minister, peace is more valuable than anything. He said that those who are living in peace, some may think that peace is normal, but different from those who are living in war. They know the value of peace. Prime Minister shared his personal experience of living through the civil war in Cambodia. The Prime Minister said that when the war started in Cambodia, the Prime Minister was forced to drop out of school and faced constant suffering. And then Prime Minister set the goal to find peace in Cambodia, which took almost 30 years to find. Prime Minister said that he has sacrificed a lot to achieve this dream. Prime Minister lost one eye and fled to Vietnam through a minefield at night, leaving his pregnant wife in Cambodia. He also recalled risking his life again through negotiations with the Khmer Rouge to persuade them to lay down their arms and surrender to the royal government through a win-win policy that ended the war and brought complete peace in 1998. 